the way we draft usually in Age of Empires is that there will be, uh, say, up to like 11, 12, 13 maps uh, available. The first one tends to be Arabia, and then each team will pick in order. And after that, we then draft civilizations where usually it's either hidden, pick, no repeat, which means we'll be able to choose whatever civilization we can where it's hidden for the opponents, but we cannot repeat that civilization more than once throughout the whole series. So if we use Aztecs on Arabia, we cannot use Aztecs on any of the other maps. So uh, there it's really important to, to think about do you want to be team A, do you want to be team B, and which strategy are you choosing, right? And sometimes even banning is allowed. This, this is fairly new, I would say, yeah. over three, four years, I think it mm -hmm. has been introduced, right? So fairly new for the Age of Empires history. and. Uh, yeah, it has added so much more complexity uh, to the game. Yeah, because there are very specific maps with very specific uh, things about them, such as there will be a lot of gold in the center in one map, or there will be a lot of water around the map in another map, and in which case certain civilizations excel. And then the whole thing is like, when do you want to prioritize? What do you prioritize? That's also one of the things I love as well about this, because it adds a lot of out-of-game preparation as well, which yeah. wasn't always there. But now, uh, if the weaker player is able to outdraft the other one, then he still has a shot to win the game. And if you compare it, for example, to StarCraft 2, mm. everything is mirrored right, for the, both players. So you have to, every single game, think completely differently. So it's very tough. It's a game of adaptation. Yes.